Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome to Crusader Kings 3 with our East Anglia campaign. I took a bit of a longer break than our earlier episode of Thrones of Britannia, had no energy so I needed to, you know, step back a little bit, have a bit of coffee, just start my day up and then get back into making a let's play. So here we are in East Anglia with a bit more energy. In the last episode, we actually took Kent over from France, from the Emperor of Francia. And yeah, I think we're going to, as soon as we can, we're going to push one more time against him uh, to take over Devon and then to take over uh, Ormond on this side. So. Uh, all in all, that's what we are going to do in the future. Uh, let's take a look at the rest of the map for just a tiny bit. Finland is pretty big here, pretty strong. 8,000, 8,500 troops. Strong than Poland, 17. They're at 20,000. 15 champions, 5, 400, I guess he's... His prestige is not that high, but man, he has a whole bunch of champions. Though the rest of his troops are just levy, so we don't need to worry about that. The Byzantine Empire, at least they kept intact the southern part, the one near the Black Sea. And most of the Mediterranean. The Umayyad, the Umayyad are doing okay, they're still around, which is pretty encouraging. Then we have the Abder, Abderrahman and the Abbasid Empire over here. Moldova is still around. There's still pretty big territories here in Transylvania and Wallachia, but they definitely lost some wars in the area. Kiev start, has appeared. And with these other ones, I guess Mongolia is, has increased. I am not really familiar with the eastern countries or, you know, factions of the time. So, yeah, that's about that. That's all I know for the moment. Let's see, what else could we do here? So we could go on a hunt. Let's check our stress. Our stress is pretty good, actually. If we are going to go ahead and check our prisoners, we once again we have a whole lot of prisoners here. Uh, let's see, we can ransom them. Um, oh, click exclude from mass actions. So ba basically, I can uh, <laughs> can I do a mass execution? That would be crazy. Okay, uh, she's not great at anything and she's a bastard. Okay, let's negotiate with a weak hook. What about this guy? This guy is... Nothing impressive. Let's negotiate once again. Let's demand conversion. Uh, make him Catholic. And then gain a weak hook. Uh, then we have his father, which we could actually release for a hundred gold, so let's do that. Mm, I don't know if this is his mother or what. Uh, demand conversion, gain weak hook. Yes. We are going to check now, let's see, who are you? Not, these are not people of importance so let's do these things on your side gain a weak hook because I might need a few people to help me out later on right when we decide to go to war again uh, this guy has a bit of martial he's sick so We're just doing a tiny bit of prisoner management before moving on. Gain weak hooks here. 
Manat, Manat, you are one-eyed, hail. Hmm, do we want you in our midst? And I think the answer to that is yes. So let's recruit him. He is only at 5 prowess, so it doesn't matter too much to me. Let's release him with a weak hook there. He's at 2 prowess. Once again, let's release him with a hook. This guy is, is great at intrigue. And he is Catholic, he's Italian. Can we recruit him? Yeah, he would accept. So let's bring him as our spy master now. This guy would be a great marshal. Can we recruit you? Yeah, let's recruit him. And then we can gain a weak hook here. He does not accept. Oh, because we already have a proposal. Yeah, so many people that we've imprisoned and we do not need. Okay. Uh, this guy has a good prowess as well. Maybe recruiting him? Okay, let's check that out. Let's let the game play for a bit. Now let's check our messages. You have gained the favor of... Okay. Okay. A few favor hooks here and there. Low control in, this, in the county of Middle CX. Uh, yeah, let's... Are we? Are we? Yeah, we're already working on increasing con county control. She is 17 here. We could be going yeah, for this guy with 23. 17 is excellent. 23 is even better. We are going to disrupt schemes. And then let's check if we take a look at the martial skill here. He is 18. 14 is good. 18 is excellent. Um... Yeah, maybe we'll just keep this guy around. Try to sway him to be happy with us, and then I'll put when this guy dies, because he's pretty old, we'll put him in that position. Can imprison a bunch of criminals, we do not truly really care about that. Our son is to become heir, and that is good. Yep, we're releasing a whole bunch of people, everybody's not super happy with us, but they're okay. Let's check. We have a bit of money left. We also have to start thinking about constructing a few more territories. Like another town here would be good for... Let's see, what can we do? A castle. We can... Well, castle doesn't really help, right? It's good defensively, but it doesn't help us that much. Another city could bring more money in. The faithful prepare for warp. The papal envoy has reached my court, bringing news from the Vatican. Pope Stephanus issues a call to arms to all righteous Christians. Okay, well, let's finance. We don't need to go to war like that. Um, so... This feels like something different.
word against the tyranny of her. It feels like this territory is leaving us, right? Let's ask her to convert. Mm. Yeah, she converted, so that's great. Our, our counselor died. Who was... Was it the marshal? Yeah. So we didn't even have to upset him at all. There, we're going to make this guy our counselor. Oof, there are some territories here and there that are so angry at us. Okay. So what's going on here? I don't think the colors matter that much. Greetings, King Wolf, not of East Anglia. I have proud through documents both ancient and of less certain provenance. I finally have enough material to make it. Yeah, sure. Let's see, done. Let's get back to the realm's view. Uh, no, the normal view. Oh, this is the normal view. Okay. And take this rally point here. And then we go to Powys, we say, dude, I want us to be good friends here. So let's go to war. Please give me your territory. And then I have no more problems with you. I'm back. Had an event, nothing special, just had to throw someone in jail, but the image. I really have to look for that mod, Makes I think it would make life so much easier. Uh, he has 2000 troops here, because there are two counties apparently that joined him. We've captured his son, so now we are at 55 war score. Yeah, this this is going to be pretty easy all in all. Do we even need to keep all our troops? I think at this point I'm just gonna disband some of their levies. Uh, let's see. Can I do a bit of a split? Split off new army, yeah. And I go to this levies here and I say, okay, you 900 here. Something like that, you disband. Nice. So at this point we're just moving on the map, we're just fighting to take over his territory. Everything is back under our control. Let's see, Sweden. Sweden you have 10,000 troops. You are 56, so you will be dying soon. His prestige is quite high. Uh, we could start trying to break him up earlier, so to speak. We need a few more territories from this side. Let's see, if we take a look at our own faction, for how long do we have a truce? Until 1039. Yep, we might be going once again to war. Let's see, prisoners taken in siege. We can ransom you for 25 gold. Uh, let's see, what else? I think that's about it. We have a 100% war score. We are just waiting for, yeah, for the money. Now let's enforce these demands. Let's go to court prisoners. 
Let's see, ransom you. Yeah, you are nothing. So we'll just demand your conversion and let you go. What about you? Same thing, let's demand conversion and let him go. For this person, gain a weak hook. Sure. This guy is actually quite good. Let's recruit him. Uh, with you. Ransom for 30 gold, sure. And with her, 50 gold. So yeah, let's get some money out of it. This band. Super. Uh, how can we go to war? Let's see. What kind of claims do we have? We have only on the de jure here. And I would like to... What kind of claims would be the other ones from, from our queen? Oh, on this side. I see. Well, I don't really want... I think I'll ask my priest fabricate a claim here in Devon. We are increasing control, we are improving diplomacy in the court. Uh, with you... I wonder if we should... I think we should be... Improving our... Uh, our chances by taking out the king earlier? Okay. Frisia, would you like my to be my vassal? Neither of you would like to do so. Empty council position. Our marshal has passed away from from his wounds. Darn it. Uh who is the best? Our knight here? Wait, 14? Not great, not great. We just got this guy, who had 18. Let's check, what can we do next? Like, we could go one more level there. Beneficial deal, minus 10% construction cost in Worcestershire. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what exactly they're gonna do here, but... Uh, she has joined our scheme, that's okay. I'm trying to think what would be very useful for us as a next step. That we're increasing these household soldier. Stephen comes of age. I am proud to see my son no longer as a child, but as an adult. With sufficient tutelage, even a child has displayed little natural inclination towards scholarship, such as Stephen, has come to truly understand the subject. His understanding of philosophical and theoretical works is impressive, and he often engages in debates with his former teachers. Even at a young age, he can be heard quoting obscure passages to support new ideas and theories. He is a mastermind philosopher, plus eight. Oh, unfortunately, that's... Oh, no. It now brings him to 18. Excellent. That is really awesome. Uh, we, do we have a court physician? We have him. But we could ask actually our son to be one. And we're back. We definitely need that mod to stop it from disrupting us. Uh, let's take a look at everything else here. Frisia, 
Denmark. Hmm. Yeah, we need to claim some friends right now. Because they are weak. And we can fight them off. We can take this opportunity to even kick them out. Oh, Anglia. A claim on Ferlix. For months. Okay, the count is... Our suffragan bishop has been digging up spurious contracts and fabricated history. Now, can Countess Agraha dares act as if all it all amounts to legitimate claims on the earldom of Ferlix? Lies and more lies. Okay. What else could we be doing this during this time? Okay, now we've reached the level of Torturer, get, getting 4 prowess, the levy size plus 10%, that's really good. Dread Gain, that's even better. And Hostile Skin Resistance, which we do need. Uh, we can create a few titles. The time has come, yep, let's try to assassinate the Swedish King. He is dead. So at this point, his son went into power, not everybody is happy with him, he has 7,000 levies and the rest of the people really do not like him. That is great. My spy master has come to me with great news, he's certain that Juliana, my own daughter is scheming against my martial Henry. Uh, whether it's true, I will not accuse her. Okay, let's not accuse her at the moment. I don't know what her plan is, but I'll let her there. Uh, what should we be pushing for? Friends? I'm guessing that's what I'm going to do next, right? Mm -hmm. Don't have a whole lot of power now that I look at it. But I think we'll be fine. Let's check our knight situation. We have some really tough knights nowadays. Maybe I'll forbid my knight, my marshal, to go from going to war. Yeah, we'll keep these people in. Our spy master will forbid it. Our vassal will keep them in. Let's forbid our son. Yeah, and leave the rest in. Okay. What should I be... I am really interested if I should be... stopping this war or not. Declare war, we could push some claims, but the deaths, those are too far. Okay, see, done. We have a claim on Francia. We can take some of those. Every nook and cranny, a dark knight can truly make the shadows in my castle hallway come to life. The perceived risk for unsanctioned visitors rise ever higher for every unguarded corner spot. If I alone can see this many fa faults, imagine what more people with similar perspectives could do. I hire a group of discreet agents, or, or we can improve our defenses for 10 years. Let's hire a group. My beauty queen Eleanor is playing absent-minded with my hair and she tells me about my root. Oh uh, yeah, so we can ask, we can say that we love her once again. Nope. Let's say how interesting. Can you explain more? Holy war for the duchy. A cold worm from this guy here against who? The kingdom of Bavaria. Um, not really. Task finished. 
Now this has been an episode full of interruptions and weird choices, so talking to weird people basically. Every nook and cranny, so this is what you should do. Wolfwin, an expert in discreet arts, has been all over my castle, scaring both servants and courtiers are out when emerging from the darkest of corners. Huddle around her notes, a detailed plan for increased security is slowly taking form. I already feel safer getting some intrigue experience and she leaves the, the court or... I might have use of someone of your talents. She is 22 intrigue, that's awesome. We gained some intrigue lifestyle and improved defense. So yeah, let's keep her in. Let's keep her in our court. Okay. The king of Sweden has only 3,000 troops now. I can't really go for this, for the 600. These claims I do not care for. Maybe this one in the north I care. Right? It's a small victory there, but it is one nonetheless. And I think we'll be taking it here. Let's see, when could we be going to war with France? When did we say? It's 1039, that's two years away. Which means this is probably the perfect, one of the most perfect opportunities to go to war with Sweden. So let's just do that. And we will be pushing for this duchy using our piety. Raise all the armies for now. Let's also bring in some of our family members into this war. Make them a tiny bit happier. And we will not be calling on these guys. But we will be calling on her. And there we have it. We are ready to go to war here. The Yardom of Leinster seems to, to have a bit of a issue to take with the Viking rulers as well. Let's split these troops in half. Take half of them and go over here into these territories we're going to besiege as much as possible and even loot their lands right okay uh they want they will fight us here because we are in the same war okay let's let them do whatever they're oh they're running away that is fine by me Motivated workers, cool. And there we have it. And we're doing... Uh, at this point we're doing amazing, uh, somehow this campaign is going well. My spy master has come to me with a discovery, he's certain that my vassal Reeve had fled, okay, is scheming against my Marshal Henry. Do we care about her? She has a whole lot of money, but not... She's not interesting in any way, shape or form. Uh, let's... Throw her in jail. She does not mean anything to me. Can we execute her? Nope. Can we torture her? Oh, we're getting stressed because we are content, but we might find some things out. Uh, 
this guy is stealing some gold that is totally fine by me we could use an extra siege weapon we might have to think about this in the future siege one got the gold prisoner tail can during siege the sun frederick okay the scandal my niece queen Ferdian has been showing signs of pregnancy for some time now and everyone thought that her husband king Enschlach was the father of the child. Now it has become clear that the real father is none other than Mayor. <laughs> okay, oh my father scandal. Where is this husband? I do love this crusader armor. Okay, now everyone knows. But yeah, I think I'll put the cut in here and we'll be back in the next episode with a tiny bit more energy. I'm gonna look for that mod so we don't have so many breaks within the within the game. So let's try that out. I'll have I'll need some time to edit this entire video. Uh, for the moment, I thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a wonderful day everyone.